What's going on with all my money motivated stars? Now we finna talk about the Shannon Sharp interview with that he did with Cat Williams, you know what I mean? It's buzzing, it's trending, you know what I mean? Everybody been sharing their take on it. I really ain't watching no other bloggers point of view. I'm just gonna go off strictly of my opinion of the interview, you know. He was dropping a lot of true bombs in there, but it's nothing that we ain't heard before. You know, people who really in tune with what they call the Illuminati, the the Boule, the stuff that they do in Hollywood, you know what I mean? He was basically exposed. That's what Cat Williams does, though. He was basically exposed in a lot of stuff. So before I jump into it, I'm going to talk about the interview of Shannon Sharp. I don't really know him like that. It was my first Shannon Sharp interview. I guess he used to be a football player, but... I gotta say, I just, I don't, it's something about him I don't like, you know what I mean? I feel like he one of them gatekeepers that Cat Williams was talking about, you know? I feel like he was way too big to have that outfit that he had on. His his pants was just too high. Not to be just judgmental, but, I, I, dude, you, this man might like this big with them jogging pants on that came up almost to his knee to me. I might be over-exaggerating, but I just feel like he, uh, just, he just gave me big, goofy, slave gatekeeper energy you know what i mean i feel like he was antagonistic sometimes some point in the interviews when he was asking uh cat williams some questions you know what i mean but i feel like cat williams kind of threw him off by giving him such talking about him in such high regard so you know cat williams is a very smart person so i feel like he didn't really do all what he was gonna do but you know what i'm saying he kind of laid back but he still kind of played like a little a goofy role asking him kind of a stupid question stupid question sometimes but for the most part it was a good interview because i say every interview is a good interview once the interviewer let the person that's being interviewed speak and he really didn't talk over him but it's like certain times certain points where cat williams just, i felt like he was finna go in he was like let me ask me let me let me ask another question you know what i mean because like i said these big platforms, they can't say too much too, especially him being a ex, you know what I'm saying, NFL player. I'm pretty sure, you know, he's a part of it, you know. I'm pretty sure Cat Williams knows that. Hey, or Cat Williams may be, you know what I mean, the necessary evil that we need. He may be a part of it too, playing his little role, you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't put none past these dudes, but it is what it is. It's just my perspective. You know, I don't know him. He could be on the genuine, the up and up, you know what I mean? But when it comes down to it, this stuff Cat Williams has been exposed and he was basically talking about, you know what I mean, Diddy and all that. And you know what I'm saying? He wasn't saying that the allegations were true, but he was just alluding to the fact, you know what I mean? Just, you know how you just, he was, it's like he was subliminally saying that the, the allegations were true, <clears throat> but then he wasn't, but you know he was saying, like, if Diddy wants you, he gonna, you know what I mean? He gonna pursue you as a man, you know what I mean? But we already knew that. What I'm tripping off of is the people who's sharing it, you know what I mean, now. <clears throat> and seeing, I knew Orlando Brown went crazy and Cat Williams, you know what I mean? I feel like it's more people on Cat Williams' side based off this interview. You know, I don't know. Somebody popular must have had shared it first, you know what I mean? Or something is going on to where a lot more people on Cat Williams' side. Because he already had a fan base of people who believed him, you know what I mean? I'm one of them people who believed him, you know what I mean? Not saying I'm part of his fan base. I do admire a lot of the wittiness that comes out of his mouth. I admire that, but I always been said that what he was doing was truthful. And he was getting, <clears throat> excuse me, he was getting attacked because a lot of the truth he was saying. Because a lot of people they put out there, like I feel like Orlando Brown is one of them people that he put out there to tell the truth, you know what I mean? He says a lot of crazy things mixed in with the truth you know what i mean he do all that laughing and stuff just to throw you off but a lot of that stuff is the truth but i feel like he's one of those people that was pushed out there they because they could have been clipped them they could have been stopped their man from doing stuff like i feel like it's a lot of this stuff that they just they just play with our mindset you know what i mean boy play with other people's mindsets who don't who's not aware and thinking that these people who telling the truth are genuine people but like i said they're just a necessary evil like if you was trying to fight a war or whatever, you would try to push some of your comrades out there to go be friends. That's how, if that's how everything has in history has ever been feel, infiltrated. You know what I mean? Just like when it comes down to Judas and the Black Messiah, they put one of your own people in there with you, you know what I mean, to go infiltrate and come back and get information. You know what I mean? So they push a lot of people out like to do certain jobs. You know what I mean? Okay, you're going to be the 
person that everybody hates. You're going to be a, a likable person. And you're going to be the person that used to be like, but now it's crazy. And people are going to grow to love you. You know what I mean? I, I'm telling you, it's all this stuff is so calculated to where they know their role. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, he was basically telling like, He's talking about how the industry is, you know, and it's like that in modern day life, you know, when it comes down to me having jobs and all that, he's just talking about the competition of people that's going after the same prize, you know what I mean? But when it comes down to it, that's, that's just history, you know what I mean? A lot of people so-called chasing the bag, but in some people's mind, everybody's chasing the same bag. When there's plenty of money out here, you can go get your own bag and wrap your own money here. But he was just talking about Cedric the Entertainer and all the other entertainers that had competition with him. Cause it's supposed to be a friendly competition, but when it goes from competition to jealousy, hatred, now I'm finna try to stop you from what you are doing because I feel like I don't have what it takes to run the race that you're in. You know what I mean? So I won't find me another lane I'm just gonna trip you out your lane and then I'm gonna skip you that way. You know what I mean? That's what goes on in the corporate business. Like day-to-day -day job, you can find any family dollar. Somebody's trying to be a manager, you know what I mean? Who working at family dollar. So they know this person comes to work on time. They know this person leave later. You know what I mean? If they have to, they fit all the requirements, but they want their position. So they might say, oh, this person was smoking in the lobby. I caught on, you know what I'm saying? Like digging up some dirt, just trying to beat this person at their own game. You know what I mean? That's, that's the problem with, that's what's the problem with the world now. Everybody's in uh, competi in deadly competition. I don't say friendly competition, but everybody's in deadly competition with each other. They feel like if they don't get this job, nobody else should get it. You know what I mean? They feel like, this is just how they feel, you know what I mean? Cause I'm finna move on to another point cause I won't make this video too long. And he was basically saying like how Cedric Entertainer stole one of his jokes. Now I see a lot of people saying that he didn't steal his joke. They're two completely, two completely different jokes. You know what I mean? When it comes down to it, people might find stuff like that petty, but me being a content creator, me being a creator of things, you know what I mean? Like I said, me having a clothesline, me having a lot of different things. A lot of people don't see the importance of people copying your ideas and copying your stuff you know what i mean because people will see something whether it's a joke whether it's an idea whether it's an image that you created people will go steal your stuff just because they know they're the bigger artist or they the biggest the bigger person and they will switch a lot of your stuff around and they will put it out as their own you know what i mean so when it comes down to it you being the most likable person, you being a bigger artist, a bigger comedian, people are gonna see it as your product and they're gonna think that you're being bitter because they're not seeing the exact same thing that you said in your joke or in your song. But like I said, a lot of people don't create stuff. So they don't know when the creator creates, he knows his creation, no matter how much you try to put makeup on it. You know what I mean? This is like if I was to be the creator of a pig. If you came through and put a sheep outfit on my pig i'm still gonna know that's my pig somebody who's never seen a pig before is gonna think that is a sheep you know what i'm saying i'm below i'm like no that's my pig you know what i mean so when it comes down to it a lot of people can't differentiate like what they seen because they thinking that this person right here was more popular and this person came with this sheep no that's the actual pig and it was mine i created it you know what i'm saying so when it comes down to it I feel what he was saying when it came down to that, when it come down to that whole interview, it was like a two hour and some interview, two hour, 40 minute interview. I watched it all. It was a lot of stuff I really wanted to write down. I'd probably go live about it, but you know what I mean? The moral of the story and why I made this video, yes, y'all, this stuff has been going on. A lot of people not catching on, but I feel like a lot of people catching on cause they just, they want to be a part of the, the so-called conscious stuff. Now they not, and there's nothing wrong with it, but a lot of people are not actually trying to find enlightenment, intelligence, you know what I'm saying, consciousness. They just go with the flow. Whatever is being shared, they're going to share it too because they want to be a part of, oh, I'm woke too. I knew, you know what I mean? I'm seeing a lot of that. You can tell how, by the way, people post the stuff that they post and the content they post, you know what I mean? That's why I've never been a, uh, a follower of 
whatever's going on i make sure i actually like what i'm into you know what i'm sharing that's why that's why my channel has been about what it's been about because i'm actually interested in the topics that i talk about you know what i mean a lot of people don't be interested they just interested because other people are interested you know what i mean this is like if it's 10 people at a party nine people want hot wings one person want pizza that one person gonna go with everybody else who want hot wings so i want hot wings too you know what i mean because everybody want hot wings they're not gonna say you know well i i do they ask me some pizza you know what i mean too many people are scared to be different you know what i mean so with whether cat williams is playing a role in that he's playing a character that's very very different so i respect his character he's playing you know what i mean because everybody's you know what i'm saying just playing a role in this movie that we call life it's just a big movie and you just got to choose your authentic character you know what i mean a lot of people are parent playing different characters that they admire but it doesn't suit them you know what i mean it's like cinderella in the glass slipper everybody want to put on that damn glass slipper but it don't fit them put on the shoe that fits you know what i mean so when it comes down to it man this just a video just to man be your authentic self you won't get exposed for stealing jokes you want to get exposed for you know what I'm saying? Climbing up the ladder, doing homosexual activities, which he's talked about. You know what I mean? You just want to get exposed for that. But if you that's something you really wanted to do to get up the ladder, wear it. You know what I mean? Wear it. Be, you know what I'm saying? Proud that you did that because it's, it's like what he was saying. Whatever side you chose, stand on it. That's, all what, I, that's, what, that's what I've been on the whole time. Because when I go around people who are not conscious or whatever, and whatever my my diet doesn't change because I'm around people who don't eat what I eat. You know what I mean? I stand on being it like King said. You know what I'm saying? I stand on being it when it comes to my beliefs and when it comes to my eating habits and my thought pattern. I don't switch it up for nobody. You know what I mean? The most I do to change some up is not talk about it at all. Cause I was like, okay, my thoughts are not going to be heard here correctly. So I just might, you know what I'm saying? Close and exit stage left. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to it, man, I, I enjoy the interview. Y'all y'all don't care for it, don't watch it. If you wanna, you know what I'm saying, watch it after what I said, what I said, go on do it. But yeah, I feel like you if you entertained by the entertainment, yeah, it'd be a good watch. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you are a fan of Cat Williams and you admire his work, you know what I'm saying? But that's all I wanted to say in this video, man. Y'all let me know if y'all wanna me go live about it later on, cause I will. But yeah. Y'all be blessed on walking this smoke. And make sure y'all hit the like button for me so more people can see this. You know what I'm saying? So they can ensure I, we can see what type of pen they share with mine. You know what I'm saying? You know what, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So y'all be blessed on walking this smoke.